So how does SEMrush work? Well, first of all, you need an account in order to use the SEMrush tool. And I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up for a free trial and test out all the different features. But essentially, once you're in your account, you just put a website or a keyword into the top search bar up here and click search. That's going to give you a bunch of information about what's going on. I personally find it quite helpful to use this tool for keyword research as well as competitor research. So if you're going to be doing SEO or even Google ads for your you know, company, you want to know what your competitors are doing so that you can do a little bit better than them. And in order to see what they're doing, you need a tool like SEMrush to be able to see what they have going on. And let's say you're, you know, starting a, a, a store, a web store or something where you're going to be competing with Best Buy. You could then put their website in here, click search and see exactly what they have going on. This is a very competitive website. It's like 92 authority score out of 100. So it's one of the more competitive websites out there, which makes sense. It's a big company. It's got a lot of budget to put towards marketing. You know, they sell loads and loads of products. <laughs> so that makes total sense. And we can see the organic search traffic that this company is getting. We can see how many keywords and we can click on any of these at any time to see more information about a specific element that we want to view more on. So like, let's say we want to see what keywords they're ranking for. We can see a whole list. It looks like some of their best performing keywords are their brand name, which also makes sense. We can filter this down though. Maybe you're starting an Apple store and you want to compete or you just want to see what they're doing with their marketing. We can see what products they're advertising over here, what keywords they're going after, the search traffic for those keywords, whole bunch of really helpful information to get a lay of the land and determine what's already working and what needs to be done in order to compete in this niche. And going back to the overview here, you can also see their paid traffic. So they're getting 2.1 million visitors per month from Google, Google ads essentially. And that's from almost 8,000 different keywords that they're advertising for. And again, we could look at that and see, you know, what keywords are they actually running ads to? What ad copy are they using? And again, we can filter this down. So maybe we want to see just their Apple products. And so they're advertising the new Apple Watch, uh, the AirPods Pro, you know, a whole bunch of different Apple products that they're advertising on here. Once you know what they're doing, you can just reverse engineer what they're doing and do things a little bit better than your top competitors. And that's kind of the name of the game with online marketing. You just got to be better than your competitors, right? There's so much information in here that you can break down, for, you know, organic versus paid. So whether you're trying to rank organically through SEO or just run Google ads, you'll be able to see some different information uh, based on that. You can see how much traffic they're getting over time, which keywords they're ranking for or advertising for on Google ads. Their uh, top ranked keywords, their organic position distribution. So this shows like how many keywords they rank for in position one through three versus, you know, on page two, <laughs> which is going to be these keywords, actually. Their branded traffic share, what keyword intent they're going after. Typically, commercial and transactional are going to be the most profitable. If somebody is just searching for information, they're not in the buying stage yet. So it's good to see what they're going. Like a lot of, a lot of websites are just all informational and then they gather emails and try to sell over email. A lot of companies, especially local companies, are more transactional and commercial in nature. And so being able to see that is quite helpful. We could also break down the competitors, other competitors in the niche. So there might be some of these that we aren't really thinking of initially, and then we can look at those further and really get a sense of what they're doing with their paid ads. Backlinks are really important for SEO. We'll be able to see you know, what what's going on with their backlinks, mostly text backlinks, a couple image backlinks and stuff. And it's mostly do follow instead of no follow. 
which is giving them a lot of authority. You can see their anchor text, referring domains, and all their indexed pages. And you can export a lot of this data, so if you want to analyze it in more detail, you certainly can. There's a bunch of different features over here, which I've got other videos on my channel which go in, into all of these different tools in more depth. So that's kind of an overview of how SEMrush works. I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. Alright, I'll see you on the other side.